Ten. Nine, ten things. All right, here we go. I got a pink mask on, so I'm going to sound a little muffled. Probably don't need to talk much. Today's trick is a door aperture foam tape that you see in there. Instead of a hard line, I got that door aperture tape there. That door aperture tape kind of keeps you from getting that hard line from the tape, making it easier to sand later. Just dusting in some of this, uh, this epoxy type primer here. Just a little drop coat. Put on this top case right here. Now this stuff likes to go wet on wet, so you don't let it get you don't let it dry up all the way. You kind of want to keep it a little bit wet. It's a wet on wet type of deal because this primer likes to flow a little bit. It's called a self-leveling primer. So you want to keep it wet, but not so wet that it ruins, okay? 
I like this primer because it doesn't react with anything. Enamel, lacquer, whatever. Of course, we're using waterborne these days. But... So no flash time really between coats with this either. They say six minutes, and uh, I'm not looking at a clock. You got a clock right there. How long's it been? Six minutes is what they say between wet coats. And the tip in this video is using that door aperture foam tape to keep that line from getting so hard. You know how that's like sanding that line out later. I got tired of sanding that line out. You gotta put enough there to be able to, to do its job. Let's see where are we? Dump it on there a little bit here. I'm building it up a little bit here. Get it wet on wet there. It's pretty wet. Looks good. That looks good. That's how I do them. It's like one long scooter. One long scooter. Kind of keep it wet. Kind of keep it wet so it can move around a little bit. I should stop now. Mm -hmm. If I stop now, it'll be okay. If I put more on, uh -oh. if I put more on, it'll run. If I put more on, it'll run, and I know that. And there's more in the gun. There's more primer in the gun. I'm going to dump that primer out. you got to know when enough is enough. More runs are caused by using it off. And you actually end up sanding. You actually end up sanding that off the car in the form of a run or a problem or too much. It's stuck. Alright, so the tip of this video was the door aperture foam tape around your primer. And then I'll uh, put a guide coat on right now, since it's all masked up. For a guide coat, I'm using Sam Trim Black. 
trim black, sorry. It doesn't load up the sandpaper, and it's good for a lot of other black jobs. So if you're going to be buying stuff for uh, if you're going to be buying something for a guide coat, might as well buy something you can use for something else too. There we go. There we go. Got everybody. All right, they're both the same color red. They're both the same color red, and we'll be able to hopefully paint them both at the same time, but I might use a different booth. I got a heated booth. I like to just do one at a time. All right. Piaggio Rosa Dragon 894. That's a waterborne paint right there. Envire base, waterborne again. Alright, we're just uh, showing you what we did this week so you don't feel like you were working alone out there. <laughs>